new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you all right so before anybody starts commenting i would like for you to actually go to the instagram page so that you can see the video of which that i am referring to because i already know that you know some people show up here chances are and you know they might say oh you're just getting on black women again to different things of this nature oh no 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 this is this is way completely different because if you 100 agree with this nonsense I, I i i promise cps needs to be showing up directly at your door right so i'll just give you a little bit of time to uh click on that link All right, so this is just me, right? Um, I, yet again, I'm assuming that you already went to the Instagram page to go view what it is that I'm referring to before you decided to mad dash to start typing in the comment section and different things of that nature. You clearly hear the one young boy who is directly behind his mom refer to her as mom. And then one of the other kids end up saying something and then the mom proceeds to pull down her pants, revealing her thong. And then she still proceeds to gyrate in front of her son. Um, if that is not a, a, a move that should automatically have CPS showing up at the door and having her directly locked up in jail, I don't know what is. Like I said, I don't know what is. I don't want to hear no type of nonsense talking about, oh, well, if the black man was this, if the black, that's, we're not dealing with that. We're, we're not even dealing with that right now. We're dealing for face value, what we have at this moment in time. The main thing that I tell people is that the very first interaction that a child has is either with their mother or with their father. If it's a daughter, she's going to learn by her father how men are, right? And her father in return is supposed to show her how men are supposed to treat women right value them right honor them respect them right protect them right that's what he's that's his job as a man that's what he is supposed to do so that when she gets out into the world she already has a marker to follow she's not just following the other sheep that are out here who don't know anything about men and they're only going off of with social media and other women who have been in failed relationships with the same failed men right um have been committing to and then in the same instance with the mother the very first interaction that a young boy has with a woman is his mother the mother is going to show that young man how a woman is supposed to treat a man, right? A young man for the, the, the circumstances dealing with uh, the child. And then, you know, by also he's going to be shown through his mother how women are valuable, right? How women are respectable, right? how you know women are very precious to this world right and how loving and nurturing you know they are and all i'm seeing here from what this mother is deciding to show she's showing every single thing negative that i've ever seen that's been perpetuated about black women Everything that she's doing right now, I can literally turn on a music video and I can see that. That's it. That, that That's it. 
And then not to even mention the fact that she has a tattoo on the side of her face. So realistically, I should have already knew what it was. Should have already knew. Like she's going to be the type of wild mom who's just not going to care. Her children are going to end up, her sons are going to end up in and out of jail, in and out of prison. She's going to be the type of mom to not celebrate them if they successfully graduate high school or college, but she'll make sure to throw a party, right? Or she'll make sure to uh, put them on a pedestal if they make it back from jail or prison from their stint. That's the type of mother she's going to be. She's going to make sure that her son is set up with the most ratchet possible thing that's walking out here. By way of her, of everything that she's showing, her son is going to end up repeating the exact same mistakes, meaning that he's going to be a child creating more children and more than likely he's not going to be there for them. But he's going to make sure to keep picking women that remind him of his mother. Because the viewpoint that he's getting from black women is that, yo, this is what black women are supposed to do. If my mom does it, every other, you know, woman or girl, they got to be out here doing this, too. If it's all right for my mom to do, then it's all right for every other woman out here to be doing. If he views his mother at the point in time where she's at right now and he sees that as respect that's a very low bar that's 100 a very low bar like i said these are the type of situations and problems that we have in the black community that we don't really talk about that we don't really shine a light on and we wonder why we are in the circumstances that we continue to be in time after time after time after time after time and then we turn around asking other people for help when realistically we should be the ones helping ourselves but realistically we can't because we're too lost in our own bs with the blind following the blind the blind leading the blind that's what that looks like here realistically this mother i don't know who she is she needs to be locked up these kids need to, you know, be with some elders who grew up during different times, who are actually about something, who have some type of value and self-love because these these young boys right here, they're not going to learn any of that, any of that. And then it would even be even worse if she had a daughter because her daughter is going to be just like her. And she's going to have a multitude of kids at a young age. And the man that she decided to choose, who more than likely was the wrong one, but he was just right for that night, is not going to be there to raise those kids. Like I said, it, it, it's a shame. It's a shame. But at the end of the day, what I've realized is that you can't save everybody. You just can't, even if you want to. And that video falls into that category. So even if somebody was to, you know, they wanted to talk common sense to the mom, she ain't gonna listen. I can already tell you the type of personality she has. She's not going to listen. I've tried to literally myself talk to women who are just like this and try to speak some type of value. Let them know that they are worth something. Right. Let them know that there is a light that is there. So instead of being afraid of it and trying to mask it up, you know, because you want to fit in with everybody else. Let that out instead of being this. But then if you're a man and you're doing that, you'll get the whole spiel of, oh, don't tell me what to do. You're not my father. You're not my boyfriend. You ain't my husband. Mind your business. Like I said, and that's what I've been trying to do. But it's very, very hard when you actually care and love black women so much. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about everything that I listed and especially what you were able to see from that video on IG in the description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned 
for the next video.